Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be game two between Arda Turtle and Kiko. Up right hand corner, we have Arda Turtle starting as the green Zorg bottom left hand corner. We have Kiko starting as the white Terran. This is BSL season 14, Hostile League round of eight. And in game one, I honestly feel like... This is the thing with Arda Turtle. I feel like he could play better than that. I've seen him play better than that. I'm almost wondering if he has a little bit of tournament nerves or if he was trying to try to create do some sort of creative play that just didn't end up happening or if that burrow was a misclick one of so there's many many possibilities and having that burrow would have really disrupted his build order overall anyway this is going to be on eclipse one of those maps that these guys have played a lot and this might be a really good map for arbor turtle to shift into simply because it might calm those nerves i'm hoping to see more of a straight up match between these two. At this stage, however, I am going to start saying that I think I'm gonna favor Kiko in this matchup after seeing game one, particularly because previously I, I have a little bit of a biased route for Arter Turtle just because he is a US Erg. But just knowing multiple times before we've seen him struggle versus Terran, and I think most of the time, actually I'm trying to think, it is possible that the previous I think he, he was eliminated once in his EVZ, but I think he's been eliminated in a previous BSL as well by a Terran. I'll have to go back and view. It's one of those statistics I wish I wish I could just sit down and create all the statistics for everything, have that time for you. But anyway, let's pretend that happened. To add flavor, we're going to say Arter Turtle is going up against the Terran wall that he's been eliminated from BSL the previous eight times by... Terran competitors. Don't know whether that's true or false, but it adds a fun narrative. Kiko moving out initial SCV scout. He's got that standard barracks being built to the top corner. And we are seeing that spawning pool extractor grabbed around the 205 mark. Pretty standard play. One thing that I have seen Arter Turtle. And I think the other thing that might have thrown Arter Turtle off is I think Kiko's build order was a little bit accelerated because he didn't need to drop that comsat station on either location because of that persistent scouting and that shows you where having an scv out in the field can really it can buy you time can buy you things and it, wow kiko not even building a marine so skipping marine entirely going immediately to command center so nice economic aggression and i think upon seeing that we'll see if it gets scouted or not actually scv or sorry drone still Waiting to the corner. Now the drone going to walk in. Upon seeing that, I almost feel like this drone here was a little bit flabbergasted. Second base completed this drone, making a little bit more of a trip than it needs to. And yeah, Arter Turtle just like, yeah, some of these idle drones happening here. Just feels like he's playing either nervous or a little bit off. Initial Zergling being produced. Drone still trying, maybe because he's trying to micro this drone against these three SCVs, trying to slow down this command center. Second barracks already in production. And it looks like that drone's going to be sent back to home base. The two Zerglings now working on that SCV. This is where I have seen Arter Turtle lag. This is where he does not dedicate more than the two Zerglings to deal. Oh, cancellation on the bunker, I think. Might have been a bunker there and a cancel. Again, because this SCV is staying alive to go ahead and get a good look. It counts. This SCV this time down to just about five health. Burrow once again being researched, so this it looks like this is part of a build order. And we just didn't see it executed previously. So let's see what Arter Turtle has in mind with this Burrow build. I'm not sure if this is new meta and this is the first I'm seeing of it, or this is something particular to Arter Turtle. I want to see what he has in mind with this. Spire dropped in the back corner, that a new fresh SEV wandering back. Creep Colony already being planted preventatively, but Kiko, again, sneaking that SCV all the way to the main is going to be able to confirm the Spire and also confirm Spire timing. And once again, this means if he is going for, I think that's an Academy down there. What we'll do is we'll remove this. That is an Academy. So it looks like it's going to be two racks Academy, but once again, Kiko can skip dropping the commsats, which is going to speed up everything else because he's got the scouting information he's looking for and even going to be able to confirm Hatchery at the northern location. In the meantime, five Marines moving out. 
An Overlord once again cotting. I mentioned this in game one, is, is oftentimes those Overlords have gotten caught midfield. A single Zergling did scout this. Sunken Colony being built, but again, Kiko looks like he's going to get on top of the Sunken Colony before the Marines, or before... Drones pulling off the line, trying to attack these Marines and do some disruption, doing a decent amount of disruption, but that's two drones down. That does buy time for the Sutton Colony to be built. But that's still economic damage. One o'clock location not taken, so... I'm not sure what advantage this... If this Burrowed Zergling's really providing all that much of an advantage. I mean, you have this Overlord around the corner. Maybe it's allowing fewer Zerglings to be produced at this stage. Mutalisks now taking flight. No additional hatchery. A drone is waiting in the corner to potentially drop that hatchery. When things come alongside, the Zergling unburrowing. And it looks like several Zerglings trying to dive into those Marines are on retreat, but because they're going in piecemeal, just getting wiped out. Third barracks being dropped. Range being upgraded along with plus one weapons, and the Mutalisks are in flight. And with a bit of that economic damage happening early, let's see if Harder Turtle can get some SCV kills or get anything accomplished, really. Two turrets already in position. Stim is already finished. Third barracks coming online. No turret around the barracks, but there's plenty of Marines and medics to provide some defense. It looks like one SCV exposed going to get taken out before that turret is finished, so at least one hit there. The Mutalisks, looks like only four Mutalisks here, taking a bit of damage, and I'm wondering how much of this is because of that burrow. Yeah, 100 gas potentially going to that rather than another location. One o'clock base now being grabbed. More mutals being grouped up. Are we seeing plus one weapons or plus one armor being upgraded? No. First compsat dropped. Checking the main. Second compsat dropped. I think it scouted that hatchery being built. Artichurl having some trouble. I'm also wondering what the lag was like between these two because trying to micro into those SCVs, there is the double turret ring, another turret being added. The Marines not moving to that location to help defend. A factory being dropped, but Kiko up 10 supply, up in workers, and honestly has done a pretty good job thus far. No third gas yet for Art of Turtle. The Mutal is able to sweep in, get another SCV kill, at least on that corner position. The Marines moving up, one Marine getting taken out, but they are starting to bunch up dangerously. I believe range is finished. Comsatting, still gonna be able to draw and get some damage. I think one Mutalist did get taken out. More Mutalisks grouping up now. And is this just going to be a continued Mutalisk flurry from here? No. Drones being transferred as this hatchery is coming online. Arter Turtle has managed to get a few more workers in between here, but Kiko's already got a significant worker count. Starport already being built. That single... This is where that Zergling might be an advantage, is where... Yeah, these Marines... The position is at least spotted. But otherwise, I don't know that it's worth that 100 mineral, 100 gas investment. Three turrets, second gas being grabbed. Sorry, four turrets if you count the... Well, no, still, still think three. Compsat being dropped, that Zergling being taken out. Eco may be accustomed to this style. Two something colonies being built. Lurker tech being skipped. Or never mind, there's Lurker tech. Move to Hive. There's Lurkers, but let's we'll see if it's in time. Kiko getting that fourth barracks down in kind of an odd location. Turrets are there to help support. The Mule is pushing in, and the Marine's going to be forced back once again. So at least with this, Art of Turtle is buying himself some solid time. It's going to be a minute before... Actually, where's the science facility? Science facility... So the starports are up. A little bit of a off moment in the build order. The science facilities are up, but this, or sorry, the starports are up, but the science facility not yet in place. Kiko moving across with his medic marines. Some lurkers waiting to morph, but the timing is just not quite there. We have three sunken colonies, a fourth on the way on the front door. Harder turtle dropping yet another one. This is a big batch of medic marines. I don't, if he tries to break this, that would be, uh, mistake. There's just too much here. That would take some miraculous focus fire. Some lurkers now being morphed in the background. Maybe a little bit of an overcommitment here on Arter Turtle's side of the map. The Mutal is diving forward immediately being punished for it. I, I believe plus one weapons is online. Yeah, plus one weapons is there, which is going to, especially without any armor or weapons upgrade, going to negate 
the effectiveness of those mutalisks. Four barracks pumping. First science vessels are on the way. Some zerglings and lurkers pushing back those medic marines on the front. But Kiko, that looks like they're actually going to exit. Sweeping to the south, Kiko is mirroring their movements. However, that is spreading out. Oh, never mind. I was going to say those mutalists might be able to pick off some troops there, but instead just flying over that line, another one getting taken out. So Arter Turtle with a bit of an attack, for, like a small attack force that's eating damage as it's going. Looks like he just wants to try to dive down towards the natural. One lurker getting taken out before it's even burrowed. The second lurker very rapidly being wiped out. Mulus able to disrupt a bunker from being produced. And the science vessel already out on the front. Now it's going to be double science vessel production for Kiko. He's up 40 supply. Five barracks humming. He's even got a factory if he wants to build a siege tank after this. And regrouping position. So now he's got Arter Turtle boxed into bases. Three gas are up for Arter Turtle. He does have Defiler Mount. An additional evolution chamber being plopped down. But as far as the macro race, he's still sitting at 27 workers. It's going to be a while before he has a defiler out and he can really move out on the map. And in the meantime, science vessels are probably going to be on his front door with a radiate. An add-on, are you kidding me? A physics facility already? A dropship being produced. Kiko feeling he's ahead enough in this build order that he can go ahead and just work with a single science vessel and a radiate potentially. I'm not sure if a radiate's already been upgraded. Get a battle cruiser out here, get a dropship and break turtle that way so fly over the shell so first science vessel making its way out we'll see if it has a radiate the mutalisk sneaking across just missing the dropship as it was transitioning towards the natural expansion at this stage this could be the victory moment for Kiko he's got all of the other bases scouted out a marine Walking back and forth, he's got Arter Turtle boxed into his base, although it looks like some of his Marines are getting pulled out of position. The dropship... Was there two dropships? Maybe that's just the one grouping up. Dropship staging to make its way towards the front. Scourge are now in position maybe to take that science vessel out. The Marines unloading before the Scourge are able to get in position. The dropship is going to get wiped out otherwise. The Zerglings and Lurkers pulling out from the natural expansion. But not before. Is that Defiler Mound just going to get straight up wiped out? The Defiler Mound is down. So Kiko getting good value out of that dropship. Greater Spire now has been morphed. I don't know if Kiko saw it. We have some Guardians morphing over the natural expansion. But the other crazy thing here is, is I haven't seen it. So the Defiler Mounds been, was there for a long period of time, and I haven't seen a single Defiler yet out of Arter Turtle. So immediately transitioning to Guardians. Try to sneak into this. It looks like Kiko trying to grab that 9 o'clock. And this might pay out. Because the physics lab was dropped. I don't see a battle cruiser out yet. But this, all of the in-between shenanigans kept the science vessel count somewhat low. Looks like it's going to move... The science vessel going to irradiate some of these lurkers, and they needed the irradiates potentially to deal with these guardians. So Kiko now losing that natural expansion. Going to immediately move up and try to mine at the 9 o'clock, I presume. Unfortunately, Arter Turtle being a little bit too aggressive and pressing them forward. In the meantime, Arter Turtle, with some distractionary attacks, moving some lurkers onto the low ground. And actually able to sneak some lurkers and lings out to the lower position. Firebat gonna be able to chew through them a bit Kiko lifting that up looks like he's gonna double expand behind this and he basically can these science vessels trying to flee sorry trying to dive down they are gonna be able to irradiate these guardians to at least open that natural expansion back up but two of them getting taken out by scourge as they're tra transitioning across and right now the problem for Arbitral is he's got that high tech he's got the defiler mount but, oh, and here's the problem again is, yeah, these, this is Arter Turtle classic blunder here. Overlord's way out of position. He could end up losing a lot of them. But right now, Kiko is able to expand to multiple locations. He's got all sorts of barracks behind this. Continuing with the upgrade, some Wraith being produced. 
So, yeah, and all these overlords getting swatted. 400 minerals down the drain. Level 2 weapons, level 2 armor as well. No carapace upgrade as of yet. So Arter Turtle, yeah, he has three bases, but he's otherwise very much boxed in. Kiko has a huge rolling economy to work with. The Wraith are attacking Overlords freely out in the field, and Arter Turtle has been locked to 76 supply. So now this truly becomes... Arter Turtle's got to live up to his namesake. Let's see if he can pull something off. Kiko holding the high ground plateau with a large troop count. One advantage is, is that Artichurl at least has been able to keep that science puzzle count to a minimum. Lurker's pushing up, killing a lot of Marines here. Kiko finally backing off, but not before he lost what looked like a control group and a half of Marines and Medics. But regardless, Kiko's mining it. He's, he's mining on four base. He's one base up over Zerg, which is rare to see in the mid game like this. Arter Turtle is building a decent sized bank, but I just don't know that he's going to have the upgrades or anything else to keep up. Double Evolution Chamber now he is wiping out Wraith here and there. He's still nil on the upgrades, and these Medic Marines are just a moment away from being fully upgraded. So Kiko can basically, looks like some Lurkers have managed to sneak across. Maybe they can get, no, there's some bunkers here to help defend. Basically, Art of Turtle doesn't have an option to go ahead and get a fourth gas. Looks like he's able to shove some Zerglings and Lurkers into that bottom right-hand corner. This is going to be cleaned up pretty easily. But Kiko, even if he doesn't attack into Art of Turtle here, he's got a big economic jump. He can just build that Science Vessel count, continue to kind of hold this mid-ground, peck away units as they're coming across. End up with an advantage that way. And yeah, there's lurkers and lings in that bottom location, but a drone still has to get here. So Kiko holding the in-between space. Lurkers and defilers moving out in between, though. One thing that Arter Turtle might be able to do is if oh, never mind, the defiler's down. If he can get lurkers and a defiler out to that natural expansion of Kiko, might be able to swing the match that way. But Kiko this time, he's the one who's able to snake around. Some science vessels wondering, are they going to just drop radiates on this lurker field? In between, Kiko once again grabbing that area in between, picking off lurkers and comsatting, and level 3 weapons is there for the medic marines. And again, Arter Turtle still not with the third gas, still not anywhere near defiler mounts, way behind in the upgrades. And four bases are mining. Defiler's getting irradiated. Let's see if Art of Turtle can stay in this match by continuously keeping the Science Vessel count picked off. Looks like he is able to sneak some Zerglings by, but again, these are Zerglings never buying. The drone's able to get here, so maybe he's going to be able to grab a fourth as Kiko being a little bit negligent and keeping Art of Turtle completely boxed in. So we continue to move towards, so right now Kiko would double the supply, but the thing is, is late game Zerg, if Zerg can just get additional gas and hold on and get Ultralisks out and have some nice Ultra Defiler play out there, it doesn't matter if you have level three weapons, oftentimes they can just punch around that. And Kiko needs to be very careful with how he's moving these troops, double hatchery being dropped in that bottom right hand corner. Still two Marines waiting in that corner to potentially be a disruption there. The Lurker field has been cleared to the northern base, some Scourge trying to pick off some troops. The one thing that Kiko has not done well is, is he's been kind of mixing in Wraith and everything else, and the Science Vessel count has not been as large as it would have been otherwise. Lurkers and Zerglings trying to move in to evict the Fire Bats here in the bottom right hand corner. A Siege Tank here as well. That Siege Tank not long for life as Lurkers spraying it, but never mind. Sea Shank does get wiped out, but it costs the entire Lurker field that was there. And it looks like Kiko is going to be able to clean up. Well, never mind. Just a single Lurker being left. The Radiate should be there momentarily. Our Scourge going to be able to get there in time. Kiko also pressing the front, dropping some more Radiates. So basically, it is just tit-for-tat battles all over the map right now. More Medic Marines being fielded to potentially engage this, these two hatcheries. So the hatcheries are going to complete, but just in time for Kiko to maybe walk up. There's a single lurker here. The Marines don't care. There's Comsat. 
able to clear that up, but the Zerglings might be able to save the day. They have Adrenal upgraded by now, so able to clear the rest of that out. And unfortunately, Kiko just not sending much of an attack force, also without medic support. But Firebats versus Zerglings, Firebats win that nine times out of ten. Lurkers trying to stream down to help defend, but getting cut off. Looks like four Lurkers are still going to be able to make their way through. But they got to walk uphill. And unfortunately, every single one getting picked off before they're even able to burrow. Kiko now at 188 supply. Harder Turtle calling GG there. He just doesn't have the economy, doesn't have what's left to fight off Kiko's macro. This is kind of a nice freeze frame on the flames. So Kiko now up 2-0 over, uh, over Arter Turtle. We'll see how he does in game three. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.